Greetings, dear suckers. My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome to Dogma and Liberty. The first game I've ever played by this person that doesn't have the word false in it. Well, sort of. It uh, was listed under on his page as being... Uh, under the false series arcade which has just this and also the false engine which is not actually a game it's just an add-on to rpg maker full of the various modifications the guys made to the engine but never mind that here we're playing F dogma and liberty which has a very very short synopsis as a military officer, talk with individuals in an area to figure out which one of them is a living bomb. And for some reason, with and individuals has two spaces between it. Never mind, though. A living bomb, huh? Not a... not like a suicide bomber, no. They, they are literally a bomb. <laughs> a very short synopsis for apparently a very short game. The play the playtime is listed as two to four minutes at least. Yeah, I so I have no idea how long it's actually going to be then. <laughs> but that's par for the course. Let's see, let's check out the dev's note. This game is made while experimenting with the mechanic of escaping conversations. You mean was made. Where you can escape the optional conversations with NPCs by pressing the X slash escape key. Whereas, whereas the Z slash enter key forwards the conversation. Forwards. I think you mean something like progresses, not forwards. Interacting with the NPC again later continues the conversation from where you left off. Okay. I think I saw one of your videos about that. Pretty neat mechanic, although I'm not entirely certain how you could base an entire game around it. Let's see, I guess. Three endings plus game over. Oh, who the hell is this? And why is she just standing in the fire? Or am I standing in the fire? Is the whole world burning? Not the whole world. Just our whole world. Well, that's just maddeningly unhelpful. Where do we go from here? To another world, I guess. I don't know. Anywhere away from war. Good luck with that. Can I keep following you? I wonder if I can escape from this conversation. Um. A dog that returns without his master doll is dishonorable, I hear. Tells me you can manage just fine when I'm not around to steer. Thank you. You're under me now, orator. Come. Commander? Where do you plan to... Where do you plan to go from here? To war. Well, that's maddeningly unhelpful. Oi. Orator. Good day, Madam Commander. Shut up and listen. <laughs> Rude. One of these people is a living bomb from enemy camp. From enemy camp. That's missing a preposition there. I think you mean the enemy camp, or maybe a enemy camp? Or an enemy camp, actually. A bomb that is about to go off any moment. Figure out who it is, and let me know in under three minutes. Um, excuse me? 
Okay, I can't escape from this conversation then. Fail, and your record will say you killed all of us. <sighs> what do you mean under three minutes? That seems okay. Maybe I should have faster. Yeah, instant speed dialogue. Um, right. So he commanded. Did someone report to me? Um, did someone report me again? I'm innocent, officer. Innocent. Huh. With how many times has this happened? Maybe I should go to go work in a different town. No one reported you, as per my knowledge. Please answer my question descriptively. What has been your occupational history, madame? Oh, I've been a maid all my life, officer. Serving mostly the generous homemakers of this town. An extra pair of hands and feet to direct as you need. I started out just... M I started out just mopping floors, dusting the house, and washing dishes. Is the timer even going down when I'm speaking to her? I don't know. Then some of the ladies I worked under started teaching me more things, and helped me in gaining more skills. They would teach me about scripture, politics, languages, share their family recipe- yes, 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 I get it. Hurry it up, and teach me what they do at their job. So apart from cleaning the house, I also cook, cut, hair- Oh, I also cook, cut hair, do makeup, babysit and tutor little children, sew and tailor clothes, draw and design house interiors, verbally translate to and from three different languages. You have a lot of jobs. Exterminate bugs and rats. I can catch pigeons pooping on your roof or gallery and then slaughter them. And a few other things I'm probably missing. If you've heard someone say super maid, then they are probably referring to me. Okay, thank you. Now some of the house I've had... Some of the houses I've had to work in have families being very loose and careless about the access they give me. They tell me to sort their drawers and cupboards. They exchange money in front of me. They have precious jewelry right there in the open, and sometimes they leave and give me the key to their house. And when they lose, when they lose, not loose, or misplace something, they blame and report me for stealing it. I get the urge to do it when I see so much green and shiny things. But I, but I've never done it, officer. But. But just like I have the urge to do it, and I don't, there might be someone else who had the urge, and then they did it. Or what if they didn't have the urge, and then they did it. So what I'm saying is, don't test your maids. Noted. Anyways, I'm curious. Is there anyone here you think I should be, I should question or be suspicious of? I saw someone here with his head and face covered. That felt suspicious to me. Or maybe not. There was news of a small outbreak somewhere, so maybe he's just being careful. Thank you for your time. Okay. Yep, that, uh, would be nice if I could actually see my time while I'm talking to these people. SOD officer here, under DOL command. Please answer descriptively. What is your occupational history, sir? You can consider me an errand boy of sorts. I go around the town, this town and ask people what they need, how I can make their lives easier. And then I offer some that thing as a service. That sounds vaguely suspicious. You might, it must be the bomb. I used to deliver daily newspaper to the town folk. Daily cow milk, too. Okay. Ah, there's like 50 billion people here. Uh. What the fuck? What is this game? You failed, orator. Now everyone's dead. Will everyone accept me? Okay, what the fuck is this game? SOD officer here, under DOL command. Please answer descriptively. What's that? Are you guys supposed to be important? We're part of the military, trained to resolve war-level threats. What's the war-level threat he over here, SOD? Sod. What's the- uh, I don't see it. Is something about to blow us all up? I'd just like you to answer my question descriptively. What has been your occupational history, sir? Hmm. What happens if I refuse to answer? I'll just have to look through your profile later, in our database. I'd rather hear it from you directly. All I get is, you suddenly, for no reason, come up to me and want to sh me to share personal details. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not doing that. Unless you tell me what's the war level threat here, that's gonna fix itself upon me giving you my personal details. Your vague sense of urgency doesn't convince me. A vague answer of the sort of things you've been involved in throughout your life is all I need right now, sir. You don't have to give me much details. Since you seem to have no right to force an answer out of me, I'm not responding or answering further questions. Okay, it was him. There's still time, let me know at the last minute. Oh, come on! 
Uh, how about you, you weirdo? Oh, you guys? Sons of Dogma and Daughters of Liberty. Please answer the question I'm about to- You know why they let the commanders- the daughters command the sons? Sexism, that's why. <laughs> because good sons don't question their doll, and good dolls don't question their daddy government. This is not the time and place, sir. Please answer descriptively. What is your occupational history? I used to be a dehumanization teach- I mean, math teacher at Worm. Worm? Where it was my job to break the brains of my students, convince them that 2 plus 2 equals 5. So they can't think logically anymore. How else would they become dogs for the government? For a nation teetering near collapse? You used to do that, correct? How do you spend your days now? Nothing much? Just counting down till the end of days, or something. Okay, that definitely sounds like the profile of someone who'd be a living bomb, I guess. I don't really know what that means, but whatever. I'm curious, is there any- is there anyone here you think I should be- Is there anyone here you think I should question or be suspicious of? If you're paying attention to my lesson, son, then you already know my answer. Thank you for your time. Obedient dogs and puppet dolls doesn't accept you from paying your tolls. Uh, it's the last minute. Um, it's actually you! You're the living bomb! No, I can't answer that. Damn. Um, teacher. Oh, shit! That... <laughs> okay. Well, that was quite a response. This man, he used to be my teacher at Wern. He was a kind man. Oh no, maybe I got the wrong guy? The bomb didn't go off. I trust your judgment, orator. If you say it was him, I'll believe you. If you say it wasn't, I'll believe that too. Come, we're eating lunch together. I don't want to eat anything right now. Then you are to watch me as I eat for the two of us. Either way, you're coming. Kinky. A dog who always- a dog always follows his doll. Okay, that was ending one, I guess. Um... Uh, what if I just, ah, talk to me, asshole. Ah, you didn't, uh, you didn't try and run away from me just now, did you? Oh, fi, what? Oh, officer, SOD officer here, under DOI command, please enter descriptively. Uh, run away. I'll be right here t t tomorrow too, just FYI. I just want to, like, go up to everyone and then immediately leave. I feel so uneasy. Uh, um, so now what? Uh, hi. You there. SOD officer here, under DOL command. Please answer descriptively. Blah, blah, blah. The, the, the DOL? Whatever I can do to be of service. Please answer what I asked. Right, I'm currently a junior student at the Worm Institute. Studying war mathematics, so I could join the DOL as a strategy assistant. My, my family are small business owners. My parents owning a bakery. My aunt running a floral shop. My elder brother is a tailor. Well, I'm not employed anywhere specifically, as my studies get quite intense. I do help around at my family shops whenever I catch a break, and they give me whatever I make that day. Thank you, and I'm curious. Is there anyone here you think I should be sus I should question or be suspicious of? The suspicious is spelled incorrectly. Hmm? Um, sorry, I can't say I paid any attention to the people here. So nothing out of the ordinary or suspicious. Uh, uh, wait, is this a test? Was I supposed to pay attention? No, this is not a test, and you're fine. Thank you for your time. Sons our daughters, our future. Yo, talk to me! Why do you only have a wheelchair when you're facing a certain way? As, uh, yeah, whatever. Officer, oh, I work with some really bad people. Hmm? People who hurt others, do violent and unspeakable things, and people who haven't yet done anything bad, but tell me they are about to. You work on the government, don't you? I try and stop them, but lately it's been getting to me. I feel dirty, I feel shameful. I 
badly want to get out of the situation I'm in and go live a simpler life. But alas, I'm bondaged until maybe a man brave enough comes and rescues me. This is just you flirting with me, isn't it? I'm here at your service, madame. Please, whatever it is you need. Oh, will you provide for me then? Of course, I have considerable resources I can provide, given my position. You promise? You won't back out? I promise. Okay, let's get married right away then. Wait, what? <sighs> I can finally quit my job rehabilitating criminals at the prison. And just focus on being your lovely stay-at-home wife. I think there's been some miscommunication. No, there hasn't. Oh, how about we pick each other's wedding dress? Why would I be wearing a wedding dress? <laughs> Don't be naughty with picking mine, and I won't be naughty with when picking yours. <laughs> the miscommunication was on my end. Fe failing to inform you I'm on an urgent duty and need to get back to work. Alright. Killer. <laughs> nuh -uh, you naughty little girl. So you're the bomb. So, you're the bomb. Ara uh, ara, uh, uh, you're quite the bomb yourself. Huh? <laughs> you insufferable flirt. Wanna hang out together? We can make lots of men explode. Go hang yourself. <laughs> Look at hell. Uh, what the fuck? Flashy. What? I found the bomb, orator. Quite. Okay. But <laughs> this is a this is a weird game. So, yeah, whatever. Um, hi. I didn't. Should I leave? Are you doing all right, madame? Sorry, I just had an operation. Why are you standing out here with the fucking IV drip? And I just sitting out here, not even connected to you, in the middle of this fucking whatever. This is really weird. My doctors brought me here. I don't know if they'll come back. That's not a suspicious story in the slightest. Can you talk? Can I ask a, a question or few? Question or few? Whatever. Uh, I don't mind. It's always nice to talk to people. Especially when it's with someone who wants to talk to you. Sure. What do, you, what do you do? How have you been spending your days before the operation? Um, I've been living in the homeless quarters. I'm an orphan of war. Oh yeah, definitely the sort of person who'd be a living bomb. I would help people there, play with the kids, sit and listen to the elders. Do my best to brighten up their day any way I can. I'm not like this normally. I'm usually able to push myself to be excited and be happy for others. I can't, today. It's okay, it happens. There was... Then there was some sort of outbreak? I tested positive and they took me away. Then they did some tests and an operation on me. I hope everyone is okay back home. Can you take me back, please? I don't have my glasses with me. I'll get lost if I'm by myself. Sure, I have a duty to take care of right now. Once I'm done, I'll come back to you. Thank you, thank you. You are a good man. Feel so uneasy. Yep, alright, kill her. Commander, the bomb didn't... Commander, the bomb didn't go off? Why are you saying like it's a bad thing? You mean, why are you saying that like it's a bad thing? You know, th this whole time limit thing is just a thing you set up so that I wouldn't have time to pick th to pick apart all your spelling and grammatical errors, isn't it, Salak? <laughs> you did good, orator. This doesn't make sense. Unless... It wasn't the officials of the government who tipped you off on the bomb, was it, Commander? Now why would you know that, orator? Probably because they wouldn't send you with only three minutes left to save this place. That it was a very suspicious sort of setup, you know? <laughs> this whole thing is ridiculous. Because this girl was made into a bomb and placed here, I suspect, by someone at our government. 
as silently as you can. Clear the area. A blower or something up here. Make it look like it happened. I can do that too. Shut up and do what you're told, dog. I'm on it. Before I evaporate you, if your soul can still hear me, girl, the people who made me do this to you, I'll make them pay. And their sons and daughters will pay too. Okay? Okay then, that, that certainly was a game. By all metrics, that was, in fact, one of the games that I have played. I guess what happened here is like the government is corrupt and evil. Big shocker there, I know, but it might be true. <laughs> From what I gathered, I think there's a story here about like a corrupt government doing weird things and turning people into bombs. And, uh, something about math teacher brainwashing people for the government, and, uh, and also there was that one woman who I think was in a wheelchair, but that might have been an optical illusion, who I'm pretty sure was the same model as Salik's wife in the previous game. And she was relentlessly flirting with both him and that other woman, who was the writer in the previous game, who in this game was a doll, apparently. Whatever the fuck that means. And, uh... I don't know, man. Things happened. I can certainly tell you that. Things certainly did, in fact, happen. And possibly even for reasons. Maybe. I don't know enough about quantum physics to understand this game. So, yeah. That was Dogma and Liberty. I leave no more enlightened than when I arrived. On that... peculiar note... This is where we'll be once again leaving Sigma Sucker for now, as that is the most recent game he has made. As far as I'm aware, there is no other that have come out thus far. Although there might be another game coming out rather soon, possibly. I don't know. But until then... I guess this was where we'll be leaving Sigma Sucker once again. So yeah, until next time, Sigma Sucker, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and sayonara, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.